Hey everybody, my name is Sam Webb and this is Shopify Dev Tips. Since this is the first video of this series, I just want to give a quick explanation about the purpose of it. I get a number of requests, sometimes on my videos, sometimes in the email, from people wanting me to cover specific topics. Some of these requests are important enough to have their own video, but they're not large enough to go with it, to go into my Shopify theme build series because that's kind of a, a bit more of a long form about building the entire site. And so I made this series to cover some of those smaller things and then just anything else that is a bit smaller and will be a bit shorter. So by its very nature, these videos will be a lot shorter. I'm thinking sub five minutes for most, maybe a little bit more if it's a little bit more complex. But the idea is never to go above 10 minutes, but with a target of five minutes. So today in preparation actually for another video, I wanna go over how to add jQuery to the site. jQuery is probably one of the most used JavaScript libraries. And because of that, you'll see a lot of storefronts using it. So to start, we just go to jQuery's website and I already have it pulled up here. So we're at jQuery and it's just jQuery.com. And then you'll go to download, which is here. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you have the, the CDN method. I'm going over two methods, right? There's first this easier method, which is the CDN method. And this method is what you would use uh, if, you were, if you weren't using a workflow like Workshop, the advanced workshop. If you were just uh, working with a client and you were building a site and you weren't using this workflow and you didn't have imports and exports, this is the method I would suggest that you go with. So we just grab this link here for the uh, version three of jQuery. Go into my code here. I'm just gonna wanna post it above where I start using JavaScript, which is right here. Right? So if we go back to the front end of the site, I hit inspect here, refresh the page. You'll see that I can do jQuery and it shows up. So that's one method you can use. And if we go back into the code and I hop into my, my JavaScript, right, and I say uh, window.div equals jQuery. And save that. Rest the page, if I look at div, then you see that div is a jQuery object of all the divs on the page, right? So it'll work perfectly fine. You can use it. I could use a dollar sign here if I wanted to. Let's, let's change that and put A, right? Just so that we know that it's, it's not like left over from before. If I refresh this and I do div again, you see that now it's all the A tags on the site. So this is a perfectly valid method of adding jQuery, right? You just add it above all your JavaScript and then within here, you'll be able to use it wherever you want. Option two is to not add jQuery as a, a global object or a window object and instead add it within your JavaScript, right? Using this import syntax like we're doing with, uh, with this example folder or file or like we're doing with the theme card. So let's start by getting rid of this line here. And we'll go back to the jQuery website and scroll, let's see, where is it at? Right here. So we've, the same thing, right? We've got yarn add jQuery and then we can use it, All right? So let's go back here, close that, and yarn add jQuery. So let's do import jQuery, All right? And then dollar sign div or dollar sign, let's say section, right? To give us another one. And window.section equals that. Make it section, and then section is uh, the sections that are on the page. And that's it, that's how you add jQuery to your site. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you found this video useful, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you next time.